Going to the grocery store in the midst of this pandemic has been a bit confusing. On one hand, you're grateful for the resources, but on the other hand, you're unsure of what to do with those groceries before bringing them into your home. Thankfully though, there's been no evidence linking the coronavirus to food you take out of the store. In fact, the most important thing to do while you're in a grocery store like this one is what the CDC has been preaching and that's practicing social distancing. This Rosars even installed a shield between the cashier and the customer to help. According to the Food and Drug Administration, because of low survivability, there is likely very low risk of spread from food products or packaging that are shipped over a period of days. So that means the items you buy at a grocery store are safe to bring into your house. But if you're not comfortable with that information alone, after you wash your hands with hot water and soap, here's what you should do. I just got back from the grocery store and here's my example. I've got peanut butter, I've got jelly and all I'm going to do is take a paper towel, put some soap on it, take water and wipe the surfaces down. The Washington State Department of Health says what you shouldn't do is put disinfecting chemicals on your food products. Something like Lysol would make it unsafe to eat. That brings us to your produce and if you weren't doing this already, you definitely want to do it now and all you're going to do is take some water and rinse it thoroughly until you feel like it's clean enough. Takeout orders also have a low risk of the virus remaining on a surface. To align with the CDC's guidelines, try to limit your visits to the grocery store to just once a week. This will help with social distancing as we all get through this historic period of time. From Spokane, Brandon Jones, Crim2 News.